I don't care how long EFCC will decide to keep me, Faos. The outgoing governor of Ikiti State, Adele Peter Faos, on Monday, October 15, said he was aware of an alleged plot by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to arrest and detain him for as long as possible. Faos said he is unbothered by the anti-graft planned and denied any attempt to escape from the country. Tribune reports that Faos, who made this statement while reacting to the report of the anti-graft agency's alleged plot to arrest and detain him, said he refused to be intimidated. He said, that is their stock in trade, I heard about the plot as well but I don't care what they do. The commission is not above the law. How can they say I want to run away and as such, they want to come and invade my residence after I left to do Ikiti on my own to come and see them, anyway I don't expect better than that from the commission. I don't care how long they will decide to keep me but my voice will not go down, I represent the voice of the common people of Nigeria. I appreciate our party, the PDP, for their prompt reaction but this nonsense will come to an end one day. I'm aware of that operational order on my arrest, let them come, nobody can intimidate me, I don't need their soft landing, Nigeria belongs to all of us, they are not God and they stop playing one. Tell them at the villa. My name is Adele Faos, Peter the Rock. By the grace of God, I will be at the EFCC on Monday by 1 p.m., I am not a coward. Let it be said to them that today is their own. Tomorrow is our own. I will not run away, they will rather run away. They took me to court 13 years ago, a one after 8 years. They harassed my family and I got judgment three times against them. This time will not be an exception. Those who wait for me will wait in vain. EFCC is no court. We earlier reported that the People's Democratic Party, PDP, alleged that the presidency has ordered the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, to arrest and detain Governor Adel Faos indefinitely. This is contained in a statement released by the spokesperson of the party, Kola Alagbandian on Monday, October 15. He claimed the plot against the outgoing governor was due to his criticism against the Muhammadu Buhari government.